This tutorial is for preview purposes only and will last a few minutes so as to provide an example of how the PSI Love You tutorials will be when you purchase them. All purchase tutorials are complete QuickTime movies providing information on how we personally use Photoshop to enhance our images. In this preview tutorial I will show you how I begin to Photoshop this particular image here. So this is the original as shot photograph and I would enhance it so that we get to this particular point here. So if we just work on this background layer to begin with and start enhancing. So the first thing I want to do is add a different sky in so that we get a bit more atmosphere in the image. So if I just zoom in, because we have nice straight lines with this building here, it's easy for me to just quickly make a selection using the um, quick selection tool. I'm going to get rid of these black lights as well because they don't enhance the image um, particularly. Um, we'll just go over this bit here. Okay, now it's a very rough selection. I'm not too fussed that it's rough because we'll be able to refine it in a moment. I'm going to just refine the edge by feathering it by about one pixel. We'll click OK and now I want to select the sky to put into the image. So I have this image open here. Now I want to select all and copy. I can simply use my options up here in the toolbar or I can use keyboard shortcuts which I prefer. So on a Mac um, to select all it's uh, Apple A or on a PC it would be Control A and then to copy it's Apple C or Control C on a PC and then we just want to paste into so we can go paste special paste into I believe older versions of um, uh, Photoshop you'd simply go paste into rather than going to the paste special so we've pasted now and the great thing with this is it's added a mask for us as well so I can start refining um, this sky area so for example here we have this white patch by clicking onto the mask taking my paintbrush tool which is sent to, set to 100% opacity which is just perfect for this right now and we'll literally just go over the edges just to refine certain areas obviously if you're doing this at home you're going to be a bit more precise and you'll zoom in nice and close so that you can see what you're doing I'm just doing this roughly now just for the purpose of this tutorial Now if you're not using masks at the moment or you need some more information about masks I suggest that you have a look at the very first tutorial in the very first set. Um, this will provide you with more information about how to use masks. Masks are something that we do use a lot so in many of the tutorials you will be able to see how we use masks. Just going to keep going around here. The great thing with masks is if I make a mistake for example like this all I need to do is swap the paintbrush colour. So at the moment on Y I can click the arrows or click X on my keyboard. That will change the colour and I can bring back anything that I've made a mistake with. Just keep going around here. As I say, just doing this very, very quickly. I would have normally just zoomed in a little bit and done this a little bit more precisely. Now we seem to have made a bit of a selection down here by accident, so I'll click X, just get rid of these blue bits um, just here as well. Click X again to go back to a white paintbrush and just get rid of these white lines here. Um, and if we just zoom out, so that would be Apple Zero on a Mac or Control Zero on a PC to view the entire image. And we just click on and off, we can see that we've just inserted that sky nice and quickly and obviously you can refine it a little bit more if you've got a similar image using a mask. Now, I want to merge these two layers together but I don't want to flatten them. I always like to, to work in layers so that I can see what I've done or I can go back if necessary. That's just particularly how I work. Some people may at this point want to flatten the image. I want to merge these layers without flattening so the shortcut for this on a Mac would be um, Apple Option Shift E 
or on a PC, it will be Control Alt Shift E, and it's given me this new layer here, which we can call Merged. And we can see it's both these bottom layers merged into one topmost layer. Now I want to start darkening this image and giving it a little bit more atmosphere. And I would do that by setting it to the multiply blending mode. And you can see immediately that it's darkened the image. But the issue here is that it's darkened some areas in the image that I don't want dark. So for example, the bride and the groom and their skin tones especially. So I would have to work in Photoshop to rectify this. And you can see how this is done in various tutorials on our PS I Love You sets. I would also work further to enhance this image um, to darken and lighten certain areas um, using various methods in Photoshop. And I would also um, tone this image as we can see here. Now to see exactly what's included in our PS I Love You sets, please have a look at the contents page for full details. And also if you're interested in investing in the PS I Love You tutorials, please check out our purchase page.